Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Makakudash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. And Shalom to the Archeum that's pushing his truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the Brother Yakanan from the GMS England branch. This will serve as a very brief video in reply to this YouTube video that you see here on the screen. And this was taken from the BBC News YouTube channel and is entitled The Danger of Religious Misinformation around the CV. Now, I won't play any excerpts from this video. However, what I will do is place the link for the video in the description box so you brothers and few sisters out there can watch it for yourselves. But what you're basically going to witness is an attempt from Esau Edom to demonize anyone that is not speaking favorably regarding this concoction. All right? And he's also demonizing various religions, you know, various alternative media and various individuals that have influence for not embracing, you know, this concoction. And ultimately, the number one group, the number one group of people that he's going to demonize is the Hebrew Israelites, all right? Because we have the pure truth of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai Ba'ashim Kodash, namely Great Millstone, all right? Because you have other Israelite camps out there that are teaching Israel that they are Israel, all right? That you are the people of the book. However, you're not teaching the 100% pure truth of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, all right? Because part of the truth, part of the good news, part of the gospel is also to warn you Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans regarding not taking the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. And you have particular congregations out there, you know, we'll start with IUIC, that are not teaching Israel regarding the RFID chip, all right? So you're not properly warning the people about the dangers and the ramifications from taking the mark of the beast. All right. And this is one of the, the last few prophecies that's going to be fulfilled upon the face of the earth before Yahweh makes his appearance. All right. So it's very important that we warn you Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans, you Israelites out there regarding the dangers of accepting Esau Edom's New World Order, the image of the beast. All right, but that's what you're gonna, um, that's what you're gonna see, you know, when you watch this video. All right, an extreme and desperate attempt from Esau Edom to further demonize anyone that is rejecting this concoction and rejecting his New World Order. All right, and now, funny enough. You know, the first clip that they actually played in this video was of, um, I believe it was a Christian, a so-called Christian who was basically um, talking about the chip, talking about the IFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. So you know already, you know, where they're going with this and where it's going to end up. And like I said before, you know, starting with um, Elder Apostle Har of Great Millstone, we have the 100% truth of the Holy Bible, okay? As prescribed through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai Ba'ashim Kodash. Now let's get into a few scriptures. I don't want to make this too long. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 2 
at verse 11. And it reads, Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right? And we are not ignorant, you know, of the devices of Esau or Edom, the so-called white man. We are not ignorant of the devices of the wicked elite. We fully know and understand through the forewarning of the scriptures, you know, through Yahweh Shem Shai, that Esau Edom wants to chip the people. Okay, he wants all 7.5 slash 8 billion people upon the face of the earth to be microchipped. All right, and eventually he would like to cause a vast a vast elimination of around 7.5 billion people upon the face of the earth to only leave 500 million, all right? And that's pursuing to the Georgia Guidestones, all right? So these are the intents and these are, you know, the wicked plans of the left-hand side. You know, this is what they plan to do. And that's why, you know, when you um investigate regarding the deaths from reactions to the uh, concoction you know it's a very vast number you know there was a video that was shared in our group chat a few days ago and it basically has this um sounded like a benjamite he was uh, researching how many people have actually died you know due to um particular reactions from this uh, concoction and it was a very very huge list and not even one percent of that list is actually being broadcasted for the people to actually understand what's going on and that's all by design all right that's all by design man so like the scriptures say least satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices okay through the spirit and power of your how about shai we're not ignorant of the works of Esau Edom and his agenda and what he's trying to do. All right. The Lord has given us this wisdom, knowledge and understanding. All right. To actually understand and foresee Esau's every move in these last days. All right. Even before he knows what he's going to do, because everything that Esau is going to do is written down in the scriptures. His mindset is written down in the scriptures. His intent is written down in the scriptures. All right, and he's ignorant of that fact due to his pride. But Yahweh about Shem Shai has given us that inside information. All right. Now, um, this is Psalms 37, verse 14. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. All right. And who are those that are of upright conversation? Those that have the truth of the Bible. Okay? Those that are going out on the highways and the byways with the pure doctrine as bestowed through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And are warning the people about the coming judgment that's coming to this world. Those that are those that those are the men that are talking as of upright conversation okay so the wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation so there's going to come a time real real soon in the near future where Esau is going to target the Hebrew Israelites okay for what we teach being the truth of the Bible all right, and he's gonna, he's gonna be, you know, basically as it says in the scripture, he's gonna slay such as be as upright conversation. So we will be severely persecuted for what we teach. We'll be severely, um, you know, demonized for the things that we teach and for what we believe in. Being in Yahweh Shai, in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Kakudash. So that time is coming. So we gotta brace ourselves and prepare ourselves spiritually. For this dreadful time that's going to be coming upon the face of the earth. But we also have to look up and rejoice. Alright. 
because our redemption is near all right the coming of our redemption is actually very near man all right because everything is happening according to the will of the heavenly father yahweh bashim yahweh shai okay so no mistakes will be made all right this is how everything is supposed to roll out in the spirit so we don't have to worry on that front now there's one more scripture i wanted to get um rebuke you the gallery was in amos Right. All right, so this is Amos chapter 5 and verse 10. And it says, They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. All right, so another thing we got to understand, you know, all of those other groups, you know, religious groups and, you know, um, alternative media, that is a problem for Esau Eden, but the real problem is the Israelites, okay? Because what we teach to Esau Edom is inflammatory, all right? What we teach to Esau Edom is an abomination, all right? Because the scriptures tell us that, um, you know, the wicked are an abomination to the just and vice versa. The just are an abomination to the wicked, all right? So Esau despises, you know, the, the righteousness that we speak because we are coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and ultimately he hates Yahweh Shai and we're coming in that same spirit so they hate him that rebuketh in the gate and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly all right so they hate us for bringing out this wisdom knowledge and understanding they hate us for exposing them and telling the world that they are the Edomites that the Bible speak of okay so Esau will come down all right, and he will, you know, demonize those that are teaching the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Bashim Kakudash. And with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. And until next time, I'll say Shalom.